Hey friends, welcome back to Bend. Today's workout is a 20 minute express Pilates class that's perfect for if you're super busy, but you still wanna tick that exercise box. Do not be fooled, you are still gonna be challenged. So come and meet me on the mat and let's do it. All right, everyone, when you're ready, let's come down and do our warm up. We are all on the floor today, so we love that. We're gonna start with some breathing. So sitting in a nice comfortable position, try to really lengthen out through your spine, hands, wherever is comfortable for you, feel free to close your eyes and let's do it. So taking a nice big breath in and a nice long exhale out. A few more like that, big breath in. Good, and out. Big breath in, try to relax your face and a big breath out. Let's do one more like that. Really try to fill up your lungs and exhale. Good, gently flicking, flickering open your eyes and we're just going to start to roll the head. Good, and then going the other way. Right. Okay, from here, we're gonna take a big breath in, stretch those palms up, and then we're gonna rotate, twist over to one side. Doesn't matter what way you go. Good, coming back through center, other way. Good, unraveling from there. And then we're gonna lay ourselves down. So coming down to the floor, feet are pressing, um, mat width apart. I'm just gonna rock those knees side to side. Do you feel like this is the end of class? <laughs> I do. <laughs> nice, all right, let's get into it. So we're gonna move through some bridging. So we're gonna have our heels together and our toes apart. So these are your heels, these are your toes. Beautiful, from here, palms just relax down by your side. When you're ready, we're gonna tuck that tailbone under, rolling our pubic bone back, lifting those hips up to the ceiling, and then we slowly melt back down, one vertebra at a time. Good, coming to the bottom and then coming straight back up. That's it, so really try to focus on keeping your heels together here, keeping that Pilates V, pressing those feet, down into the mat. And we wanna think about our spine moving one vertebra at a time all the way up and all the way down. Good, staying with your breath. That's it. Good, make sure you're actively squeezing those legs, those hamstrings, you're drawing that belly back. That's it. Try to relax your face, your shoulders. Good, next time you go up to the top of your bridge, we're gonna add on. So meet me up at the top. Good, we pause. Keeping the heels together, we lift them up. We lower the heels down and then we roll down. That's it, so we tuck and roll up, pause at the top lift the heels, lower the heels, and then roll down. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Starting to bring some heat into those legs. Doesn't have to be a big lift either, just as long as you're bringing your heels off the mat. Good, and if you do find that once you start to lift your heels, you actually need to bring your feet closer in, go for it. Beautiful, slowly start to roll back down and then we're gonna add another layer. So we roll up, squeezing, tucking, lifting, pause, lift the heels, this time we keep them lifted and then we roll back down. How's your hamstrings? <laughs> Good, lift it up. Heels stay up as you lift and lower the bum. Good, 
good. And if any of this becomes too much, just come back to whichever layer feels best for you. Good. Really try to think about drawing those knees to either corner of the mat, really rainbowing them up and over. Beautiful, you're gonna hold your next bridge up at the top. Another little layer here, good. Now try not to move your hips, try to close the knees, open the knees and then roll back down. Good, if you want, you can bring your hands up to the ceiling, it's up to you. That's it, so try to think inner thighs here, just squeeze, open, we roll down. Good, staying with me here, that's it. Good, next time we're up at the top, we're just gonna stay opening and closing those knees. Try to really lift that bum up. Oh yeah. Good, we're here for five. That's it, four. Three. Good, we're keeping the knees open in two. Good, and one, keep those knees open, pulse those hips up and up. You've got eight. Good, and then we hold in seven. Like, why is she counting so slow? <laughs> Six. Squeeze and lift, keep those heels squished together. Good, three. Big lift up, big squeeze. Two. One, hold up at the top. We just hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly melt it back down. Ooh, what a way to start, right? <laughs> okay, feet flat to the mat, hands come behind the head, chest is nice and open here. So we've got thumbs running down the side of your neck and hands interlace. Big breath in, we exhale, we crunch up, that's it. We lower down, crunch it up. Good, so each time we lift up into this crunch, try to think about sliding your ribs down to meet your hips. So you're shortening that space, you're pressing down into the mat. So I couldn't even slide a piece of paper under there. Good, when we lift, we look down towards our belly. That's it. Okay, so I have to tell you, I was gonna wear shorts to work out today. And I was like, oh, I should probably shave my legs. Not that I feel, you know, like I have to, but more just like I want to. And I have one of those safety razors, but it's like deadly. They're not safe at all. So I shaved my legs just before this and I got myself shaving. So that's why I'm wearing tights because it was just not good. Good, we're gonna lift those legs up to tabletop. Lift up, lower down. Same thing, come back to any layer that feels better for you. So now I'm just sweating it out in tights. <laughs> Keep pressing that belly down. Relax the face. Beautiful. Good. We start adding on. So we go lift up, we pause, we tap one knee, bring it back, other knee, bring it back, lower down. Lift, tap, bring it in, tap, bring it in, lower down. That's it. Point your toes. Good, and just make sure you're not just doing this. Yucky, I don't know what that is. That leg stays in tabletop. You reach those toes towards the end of the mat. We lower down, good. A few more like this. That's it. Now, singles are enough. Stay here. If you wanna go doubles, We'll do one more singles and then we'll go doubles. Good, so we big breath in, we lift up, both toes tap, come up, lower down just for five. 
Good, four. Good, three. Last two. That's it. Last one. Good, lower down. Grab onto your knees, roll yourself up. Is this not so fun? Okay, so come up to seated for me. So just open up your sits bones. So just find that nice stable position on the ground. <laughs> Low key already puffed. Okay, from here, we're gonna keep those legs extended. So just make sure you're nice and comfortable. Arms are gonna stretch out in front. We're gonna tuck tail under. We're gonna roll back. We roll up. Good, so we tuck under and we roll back. If you have like a sore lower back or tailbone or anything like that, you can always wedge a pillow or a ball under there if you like. And if you prefer, you can have your legs bent here. It's up to you. Good. Let's start adding on. So we tuck and roll back. We pause. We open left arm out to the side. Bring it in, roll up. We roll back to the side. Bring it in, roll up. Good. So thinking about those obliques here. That's it. So as you twist to the side, try not to move your legs with you. You're twisting from your waist up. Good. We roll down, we go left, center, right, center, bring it up. Roll back, right, center, left, center, bring it up. I want you to be drawing your belly button back to your spine, almost like I'm punching you in the tummy and your tummy, stomach, and you're creating that C shape. That's it. Good, on this next one, we're gonna stay low. We rotate, center, rotate, center. Good, if your hip flexors starting to switch on, just come up a little bit higher, that's it. Good, we're here for five. Really try to reach to the back of your mat for four. Good, three, four, two. Good, and one. We're gonna stay nice and low here. Bring your palms out as wide as you can. Flip, we're gonna pulse up and down. Can you sink back a little lower? Pulsing those hands up and down here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Whew, short, but effective on the abs. Okay, come on to all fours. We're gonna find a kneeling plank. So, palms pressed down, knees slide back, and then we're gonna tip that body weight forward and try to think about tucking that tail under. So we're not pushing back, we're really loading up that upper body and just make sure you're really pressing your hands firmly into the mat. Pulling those shoulders out of the ears. From here, we're just gonna gently lower halfway, coming in through those triceps. We push back up. So just starting off warming up that upper body. And then of course we'll add on. So abs should be nice and engaged here. So try not to let them go as you lower down, try to lift those abdominals up. That's it. Try to just gaze towards the end of your mat. Good. I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna add on. So it's gonna be one little tricep dip. We push up, tuck your toes, find your plank. Pause, lower the knees, untuck the toes, find your little triceps, push up. Nice combo, Ainsley. Good, keep those elbows wrapping in. And when you lower yourself down, try not to come back like this. Try to think about pushing your chest forward towards the end of your mat. Oh my goodness. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. Good, keep those elbows nice and tight towards that rib cage. Is anyone else as red as me? Good, let's go for two more like that. Good, last one. Push up, 
hold your plank. Just hold it here. Good for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down from there. Lower yourself all the way down. Don't get too comfortable. Okay, we're gonna keep building into that. So we're gonna come all the way down to the floor. We're gonna lift our arms up. So think about back body working here. We're lifting those elbows up. Try to bring your hands out nice and wide. Draw your elbows back towards your rib cage. Hands come onto the mat. Press yourself up. If you wanna come up onto a full push up, go for your life. Good, we slowly lower down. Hands come up, push straight back up. That's it, slow lower. Hands come up, nice and fast to pop back up. Almost like you're surfing, you know? Good, so you're creating that little W shape with your arms. That wasn't very fast on the way out, was it? Good, pause once you get into your W, your w shape. Stretch those fingertips out, draw those elbows back, press up. Good, lower down. Good, W shape. Extend, bend, press it up. Another four like this. Really draw those elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Can you tell my upper body is my weakest part? <laughs> but you know, we don't get stronger by not doing these things. So if you're struggling right now, so am I. <laughs> Good, give me two more like that. Good, the last one, you're gonna stay extending, bending. Extend, bend. Good, five, four, three. Arms are gonna fall off for two. Good, and one more. Now from here, I want you to bring your hands out to the sides, flip your palms so they face the ceiling, pull those shoulders back, press that chest forward, pulse your arms up and down. Good, for 10, nine, eight. Keep those abs on so you're really lifting yourself up. Squeeze those shoulder blades for five, four, three, two, and one. Press those hands, tuck those toes, find me a downward dog. Good, don't get too comfortable here. We're gonna ripple, roll forward, push it back. Good, come high onto those tippy toes, push it back. Good, for two, take that pause. Good, on this next one, ripple roll forward, left knee to left elbow, send it back. Good, we come in, right knee, right elbow, send it back, that's it. Squeeze those abs up and in. Good, we're here for three. Four, two. Good, on this last one, we're gonna stay. Elbow to knee, send it back. Elbow to knee, send it back. Good, stay with me here. That's it, you gotta really draw that tummy up and in, nice and strong through the upper body. Good, last five, four, for three, that's it. Stay with me here for two, good. And one, push back. Take that child's pose, that's downward dog. Good, start to slowly bring yourself forward and then just working through a few cat and cows. Good, slowly finding the center, lifting that left arm up to the ceiling, thread that arm through. Good, push yourself up, right arm up to the ceiling, thread that arm through. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but I got real puffed out at the end. Good, slowly coming up out of that one. 
we're all done. 20 minutes just like that. I promise one day I'll do a class where I don't have to move my microphone. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me on that one. Um, hope you had fun. Hope you got a nice little burn in that 20 minutes. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one.